The Hario V60 is possibly the most well-known and most used manual coffee brewer in the world, and is the de facto symbol of the third wave coffee movement. But have you ever wondered where the Hario V60 came from, or what makes the coffee brewed with the V60 so good, or what drove its widespread adoption in coffee shops and homes around the world? I did a little research and the answers are pretty interesting. In fact, the V60 almost never happened. That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Let's get started. The V60 is made by Hario, a Japanese glass manufacturing company that started in 1921 in Tokyo. Its name translates to King of Glass, and in the early days its focus was on heat-proof glassware for scientific and lab use. Following World War II, the company started producing housewares, and its first brewing device, the coffee siphon, was released at that time. Soon after, Hario started producing more and more products for non-scientific use. In 1980, a Hario employee was looking to come up with a simpler solution for brewing coffee and he developed some initial versions of the V60. By all accounts, the prototypes were showing promise. Unfortunately, the brewer, which gets its name from the 60 degree angles of the brewer walls, which form a V, was not manufactured and was instead left on the shelf for a while. But that's not to say there wasn't any pour over coffee happening during this time. Pour over brewers had been available for a long time specifically the Melita Drip Brewer, which was invented in 1908. But as coffee culture and brewing evolved from the instant and pre-ground era of the greatest generation into the more thoughtful second wave in the 1980s and 90s, the manual pour-over movement was still relatively rare in coffee shops. In 2004, Hario revisited the V60 prototypes and added its now iconic spiraled ribs to the brewer. The innovation was significant because prior to this, manual brewers usually had vertical ribs and often had issues with their paper filters sticking directly to the side of the brewer. This impeded water flow and resulted in suboptimal brew results. The spiraled ribs of the V60 lift the filter off the sidewall, allowing the water to move in and through the coffee more freely, which aids in evening the extraction of the soluble parts of the grounds and which, according to Hario, produces a better body and flavor in the cup. And that feature, along with the large hole at the bottom that allows for unrestricted coffee flow, is really what makes the V60 special. Its design and filter create a crisp, clean cup of coffee that stand out among any other brewer in existence. In fact, the V60 has been the brew device of choice for many Brewer's Cup champions. Despite issues with brew replicability, the V60's advantages were quickly recognized by coffee connoisseurs and professionals looking to take their coffee game up to the next level. And at the same time, somewhere in the mid to late 2000s, tastes were shifting away from the dark, dense cups brewed with imprecise big batch machines of the second wave to brighter and lighter roasted coffees with more nuanced flavor notes that were brewed one or two cups at a time with attention, precision, and care. And this was essentially the beginning of third wave coffee. Pioneering shops like Intelligentsia in Chicago led the way, becoming early advocates for manual brewing with the V60. They told anyone who would listen about the benefits of the V60, and clearly, they were onto something. In the 2010s, more and more shop owners, consumers, and even the media took notice. The rise of the V60 was also bolstered by the mass adoption of social media, where coffee industry leaders such as Scott Rayo, James Hoffman, Tetsu Kasuya, Chris Baca, and many more could share their own V60 recipes and their love for manual brewing for the whole world to see. Today, the relatively cheap cost and availability of the V60 means it can be found in coffee shops and households everywhere. And while it's likely that your average coffee casual thinks that the V60 is a trendy byproduct of the 2010s hipster explosion, its success is really the result of nearly 25 years of innovation by a company and a man that gave a damn about brewing a great cup of coffee. 